Hey, Grex here. Welcome. Today we will set up the UI for our combat. So let's begin by making a panel. To edit UI, let's set our scene view as 2D view by clicking this button. By changing anchors to be bottom right, we are making sure that our object will maintain this placing regardless of the resolution of the game, allowing you to set up UI on games with dynamic resolution of the screen. As an example, with three aspects of the game view, if we change the view of the game, the position of the panel will maintain the anchored position on the scene. Or if you want to stick your panel to the bottom middle of the screen, we can use bottom middle anchor. Good. Now let's add four buttons to this panel. When I try to add button with Text Mesh Pro text, it will show you this TMP importer window. We only need to click Import TMP Essential and wait for it to install components. This will install Text Mesh Pro component, a better solution for text, allowing you to use high resolution text and provide better tools for working with text. You do not need examples and extra. After all importing is completed, you should have one button on your screen. Attach the button to the command panel. Let's rename the panel into command panel and button into command 1. Let's duplicate the button three times so we will have four buttons for four commands in the game. We we'll always can try to place the buttons manually. But instead we can use layout group to position our UI dynamically. We want to place our UI into the grid layout. So we can use grid layout group. You can change the size of your buttons by changing the cell size. And if you need you can change size of your panel to fit more or bigger buttons. Good. Don't overstress UI too much. Very early in the development, so no reason to spend too much time on something but will be changed and updated over the time of the development. We have the UI on our screen. Now let's make it work. Select the command panel and create and add a new script called command panel. Inside we want to define four public methods for each of the command. Attack, Bag, Pokemon, and Run. If player press attack, the current Pokemon should attack the opponent. Inside those methods let's put debug message so we will be able to see if they are called. When the player presses the command button, we want to call the command on the command panel. Which we can do through utilizing the onclick unity event on the button. Add the command panel to the onclick event and call attack method. If you can see attack method in this list, it's most likely you haven't marked it as public. Let's test this. If you have those errors, don't worry. Just select event system and press this button to update your input system for new input system. Let's test this. If I press the attack button, I get message in the console. Good. Let's add the same event to other buttons. Bug. Pokemon Run Let's test this. Good. With this we have set up our first command panel. Now let's add a status panel. 
create a new panel. Let's attach the panel to the bottom right corner. Add text object for the name of the mon. Then add an image which we will call background. Duplicate this image to preserve its size. Make it a little smaller. Recolor it into the red or green. Set the sprite for now. It is just UI sprite. And set the image type to be field. And method to be horizontal. Good. Now we have an HP bar, but that HP bar sprite is broken. Problem is Unity doesn't like sprites like this for field image type. To solve this issue, let's introduce the almighty white pixel. It is just a white 2x2 pixel. You can draw one yourself or download mine from the link in the description. Set pixel to be an UI sprite. And use it as source image. Good. As you can see, we can manipulate our HP bar using fill amount parameter. Thank you for Patreon support. Comment, subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.